How's it going ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff with iDownload Blog right here on my iPhone 4. I'm running iOS 6.1 Beta 5. Now, a lot of developers, a lot of people on Twitter uh, regard this as the Go to Master version, the final release before the public edition of iOS 6.1. Whether or not that is actually true, well, that remains to be seen, but right now I'm going to show you how to jailbreak the Beta 5 version of iOS 6.1. This is for pre-A5 devices only. It is a tethered jailbreak right now. Uh, place your device into DFU mode with it connected to your computer. Once it's in DFU mode, you want to load up Red Snow 0.9.15 Beta 3. You should notice it says connect it and in DFU mode at the bottom of the Red Snow screen. Once you have confirmed that, go ahead and click on the Extras button, select IPSW, and now you need to select the 6.0 firmware for the device you're working with. In my case, I'm choosing the 6.04 firmware for my iPhone 4. It should say successfully identified, go back, select jailbreak, and this will start the jailbreak process for you. So again, identify your 6.0 firmware first, go back, Select jailbreak, make sure install Cydia is checked, and then go ahead and click next. This will go ahead and jailbreak your device. You'll see a message about a tethered jailbreak. We'll come back to that. But for right now, you should see something on your device that looks like this. Now, I'm going to speed this por portion up um, because this takes forever to complete. So just keep in mind, I've sped this up considerably, um, and you should expect it to take a while on your device. Now, once you're back at your lock screen, go ahead and unlock just to verify, and you should not see any Cydia logo there. We need to perform a tethered boot. So again, place your device back in a DFU mode, hold home and power for 10 seconds, release the power button, continuing to hold home for 10 additional seconds, and then release the home button. Your screen should stay black like this. Now you wanna head back over to Red Snow, click OK on this tethered jailbreak message. We already know it's a tethered jailbreak. Click back, select your IPSW again. Again, select your iOS 6.0 firmware for your device. This is the latest firmware that Red Snow recognizes. Go ahead and click OK, and now select Just Boot, and this will perform a tethered boot on your device. Now, this too takes a little while to finish. It doesn't take as long as the initial jailbreak takes, but it takes a little while, so I'm going to speed this portion up a little bit as well, but your screen should look similar to my screen right now, and eventually you'll see your device reboot with the Pineapple logo, that is that pineapple looking logo on your device, and that will signify that you are successfully performing a tethered boot. So you can go ahead and quit out of Red Snow once that completes. There is the Pineapple, like I was stating earlier and this should take a little while. Again, I sped this up so we can get through it for this tutorial. Yours is gonna take a little longer. There is the Cydia logo on the second page of the home screen, and there we go. So we can tap Cydia, we can select developer, user, hacker, whichever one you wanna select as your profile. Uh, I think I'm gonna select developer, and that's it, folks. There is Cydia running on iOS 6.1 Beta 5, jailbroken. It's super easy to do. If you want more information, check out iDownload Blog, and then let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownload Blog.